Well, to be sure, Trump is the gift that keeps on giving. Less than two, three hours after I posted the last video, the world learned about this event, which was basically the US government making their case for why they raided Mar-a-Lago because there are a lot of documents that shouldn't be there. That's pretty clear, you know, next to his Time magazine look like pictures, cementing the idea that you're not supposed to be mixing apples with oranges, so to speak. But what is interesting is that when you look at the chart for Trump and the chart for the US, you can see pretty clearly where his vulnerabilities are, and there are many. In fact, when you compare these two charts and you assess what his fortunes in this country might be, despite the fact that many think he has been incredibly lucky to be in the US, it's in fact a fairly dangerous country to be in for Trump in light of the fact that he insists on being a criminal. There are ways in which this would work where he wouldn't get into so much trouble, but because he behaves so consistently in a lawless way, eventually it catches up with him. And you can see that in the transits, if you look at, for instance, the iris, I've shown in previous videos that it's permanently parked in the 25th degree therefore will be challenging his Saturn-Venus conjunction, especially his Venus, pretty well for the rest of his life. So that's a major problem, but notice that the US Eris at eight degrees Capricorn triggers his access Hollywood planets, Neptune, Eris, and Mercury, which means it's a dangerous planet. So it's unsurprising that when it lands there, it's gonna be incredibly problematic. Then we take Saturn, which in the US chart at 15 degrees Libra, it's close to conjoining his Jupiter, signaling that the time may come when the US government, the US laws, the US rules and regulations, the US defenses against people who might try to take the country down are going to come down hard on him. And so it's again unsurprising that at the moment where the Saturn is transiting in his chart over here in Aquarius, posing as Mars, this whole records scandal is linked to Saturn opposing his Mars because it originates in the May-June period when they issued the subpoena, he resisted it, and now he's still in the thick of it. Even though Saturn has moved back a bit, it's due to return to these degrees. So this is Saturn in full action, punishing him. Then we look at the US Pluto, which is in its return, it's a totally separate issue, but those degrees, you notice, in Trump's chart, always oppose his Saturn and Venus. It just so happens that it's returning and it's there now, as we speak. That's a perfect description of the US secret intelligence services that are coming down on him. Because what he just did is in fact violating their most sacred rules around secret documents, top secret documents, documents that should only be seen in certain areas, etc. So you can see there are multiple planets here operating such that already in the connection between Trump and the USA chart, there's a signal that they could become problematic. And then it just takes Trump to walk straight into the problem in order to literally make it happen. Now, in terms of the fact that many are now saying 
he is very likely to be indicted, I would say yes, that is true. However, this is where I am skeptical that such an indictment happens before the midterms because it's one thing to say that I do believe there was a bit of an emergency here and the Department of Justice decided they had to have those records back immediately before potential further damage was incurred. But now, in a sense, there's no rush, plus it gives them more time to assess what is going on carefully. And so my guess is that this is most likely linked to Saturn and Pluto in their transits because their opposite planets, respectively Saturn to Mars, Pluto to Venus, Saturn. And you can see in the ephemeris that the origin for Saturn is in the summer here and it's due to return there early next year, cross to there again, and Pluto will still be within range of you know, delivering a blow to his 12th house Venus. So my best guess on this is that when this comes down, it's likely to be either early next year or possibly in the late stages of 2022 either or. Now that's how the astrology fits. However, if I just focus on the politics, the reason I'm saying it is that it's one thing to realize that there was a genuine emergency here. I think Garland and the FBI realized that something very dangerous was happening and so they had to move on it. But now that we are a couple of months from the election, if they were to indict, it would give the GOP way, way too much fuel to you know, claim a political hit job, which they already have claimed, by the way. A number of pundits on the GOP side and the GOP itself claim this is all politically motivated. I do not believe it's politically motivated at all. I think it's criminally motivated. However, at this point, it would seem wiser for them to wait and it happens to fit the astrology very nicely. So that's why I say late 22, early 23 and should it be delayed a little further, no big deal because once Saturn leaves the opposition to Mars, it's still within range of Trump's ascendant and beyond that, it enters Pisces for a solid three years, which is the last place he wants Saturn to be in the context of this whole situation.